Imagine getting paid just for sharing your thoughts on products and services you use every day. With Survey Junkie, it's that simple. Click on the link in the video description to discover how you can start earning today by taking surveys. Frustrated family and friends of General Hospital actor Johnny Wachter demanded progressive Los Angeles County District Attorney George Gaskin seek the harshest punishment for suspects who fatally shot the beloved actor. More than 200 people gathered at the downtown Los Angeles site where the actor was gunned down as he and his co-worker encountered three suspects who were attempting to steal Wachter's car's catalytic converter on May 25th. Officials with the LA County District Attorney's Office said there have been some leads in the case, but so far no arrests have been made. Standing in front of the spot where Wachter was gunned down on the 1200 block of Hope Street, Wachter's friend Micah Parker called on DA George Gaskin to push for the maximum sentence for the killers and for city officials to get off the sidelines and do their jobs. It's the place to be because the city and the city's leaders need to understand what soft on crime policies leads to, said Parker. It leads us to right here. It's important to us that this story remains top of mind for his family, for his friends because we loved him and he deserves justice. Gaskin did not attend Wednesday's rally but his chief deputy Joseph Iniguez told the participants he could not discuss how the case would be handled before arrests are made. Sean Smith, also an actor, slammed Gaskin for not taking a tougher stance on crimes like thefts and vandalism. Even here in LA, we are supposed to be the most progressive, but I cannot walk safely down the street expressing myself without worry of being shot, screamed at, stabbed, or bullied, Smith said to Iniguez. I understand you don't want to comment on sentencing but we do see a pattern. He continued, when we had George Floyd, protests, someone tampered and vandalized the metro train track. The train flew off the track and people got killed in the train. Gaskin did not prosecute that. Is that justice? Iniguez said the DA's office can't put together a case unless other law enforcement agencies presents them with the evidence. So I understand frustration with Mr. Gaskin, and I hear it, Iniguez said. I want to make sure that I focus on the work that our prosecutors are doing every day. The court system handles issues of bail, so that's one that you just mentioned. He continued, people are getting out, but the court system handles bail. Police do investigations, and they do a good job without us getting cases to prosecute, though there's nothing that we can do if a case isn't brought to us. A frustrated Smith replied, I heard from your end a lot about the criminals that the criminals that they have stories. The criminals have stories, but the victims have stories too. When will our stories matter? When will our stories matter to your office? Nathan Hockman, who is running in November to replace Gaskin, attended the event and blasted the current DA for his lax policies. Hockman, a former U.S. assistant attorney general running as an independent, said victims can't count on the justice system because L.A. hasn't had a DA who would hold criminals accountable for their actions. Johnny's situation is not about politics, Hockman said. It's about actually having law enforcement in a DA's office that will get the job done. It doesn't matter if you're a Democrat, an Independent or Republican. This is about who is going to keep this city safe, keep you and your family safe, and take Johnny's legacy, and his legacy is, quite honestly, to make sure there are no more Johnnies. That is the legacy, he continued. That is what a DA's office absolutely has to commit itself to not just find these three brutal murderers and hold them for justice, but make sure we build a Los Angeles that doesn't permit these people to first steal the catalytic converter in the first place, and then have they even thought that they can kill a person in cold blood. Wachter was leaving his side job at a rooftop bar with a female co-worker at around 3.25 a.m. Saturday in the area of West Pico Boulevard and South Hope Street when he saw the three men near his vehicle. Grant Wachter, Johnny's younger brother, told DailyMail.com, said Johnny thought he was being towed, so he approached the men. One of the men then looked up and pointed a gun at Wachter, who put his body in front of his female co-worker as he was shot, Grant Wachter said. Anita Joy, Wachter's co-worker, said her Friday.